Ready for a quiz that will change your life? I've got a cosmic bunch of space facts for you today, but only some of them are true. You won't need a telescope, a star map, or even a calculator to answer these trivia questions. But you better watch out because they might turn your world upside down. I promise that your IQ is gonna spike up to a dangerous and crazy new high. So first things first, let's start you off with an easy one. One day on Earth is exactly 24 hours. Is that true or false? Yeah, this is just slightly wrong, so don't get too upset if your answer was true. The actual length of one day on Earth is 23 hours and 56 minutes. That's the exact time it takes the planet to spin once around the sun. Yeah, sounds like a grand conspiracy. Hey, are you already trying to calculate how different the actual calendar must be from the one we're used to? No, oh, stop it, it's just impossible. I already tried. The hottest recorded temperature on Earth was 134 degrees. Is that true or false? Oh yeah, completely true. That's Fahrenheit, of course. And where do you think this happened? Somewhere in the middle of the Sahara Desert? No, actually. It's Death Valley, California. It holds the record for the hottest day on Earth back in 1913. In case you're used to Celsius, that's about 57 degrees. So, how about a roasting hot summer holiday? Yeah, no thanks. By the way, do you prefer hot or cold weather? I like cold weather, you know, like hot chocolate, watching movies, pajamas all day. Let me know in the comments. The North and South Poles regularly switch places. Is that true or false? North is always North, and South is always South. Isn't that what you learn in school? Well, sorry to disappoint you, but they do switch places. Not all the time, of course, but just sometimes. The North and South Poles tend to switch places once every 200 to 300,000 years. But keep calm, no magic's involved. This happens because of storms inside the Earth's core. Whoa, that's intense. They make the Earth's magnetic field shift sometimes, so not a big deal. It doesn't even have any real effect on plants or animals, just your compass. The Earth spins at approximately 1,000 miles an hour. True or false? And this is true. The Earth spins at a crazy speed, just think about it. The fastest car in the world can reach a speed of 267 miles an hour. Wow, that's mind-blowing, right? Hey, you feeling nauseous yet? Now you can blame the speed of the Earth. Just kidding. But it's true that we're always traveling, even before we get out of bed. The craziest part is that you might be moving slower or faster than someone else. It just depends on what part of the Earth you're on right now. Like, if you're on the North or South Pole, you're just basically spinning around in one place. But if you're somewhere near the equator, you know, like having your vacation in Indonesia or Brazil, then you're moving faster than anyone else. That happens because the Earth spins around the sun, and it spins fastest around the equator. Lucky you! Half of the Earth's land surface is desert. Is that true or false? Well, it's false, but not by much. In fact, one-third of our planet is partially or totally desert. What does that mean? Well, it's just another reason for us to take care of the land we actually live on. Just think about how little space we actually have. The USA is bigger than Pluto. Is that true or false? You sure you're ready for this one? Then here's the shocking truth. The distance from the west to the east coast of the US is greater than Pluto's equator. Actually, if you ever had the wacky idea to walk around the equator of Pluto, 
It would be just about the same distance as walking from London to Denver. Now I know why they revoked Pluto's planet status. It's tiny. The Earth is the only planet not named after a Greek or a Roman god in English. Is that true or false? Yeah, it's true. So this is another special thing about our beautiful planet. But why? Ancient people like the Greeks, Babylonians, Romans, they gave names to all the planets, but they didn't think that the Earth was a planet. That's hilarious. Well, the Earth was only accepted as a planet in the 17th century. So what did they call it? Well, scientists used the old English word erda, which basically means ground or soil. That's so unfair. Shouldn't we come up with a better name? How about Planet Dionysus? Share your ideas in the comments for a cool new Earth name. Earth is the oldest planet in the solar system. Is that true or false? Not even close. Earth is a baby. Jupiter's the grandpa around here. It was formed one million years after the beginning of the solar system. It started out as a small rock and gradually grew until it was the size of 50 Earths. Ah, oh, my brain hurts. The Earth is round. True or false? People always think that the Earth is a gigantic sphere. So I can imagine that like 99% of you said it was true. And you're so wrong. Don't blame yourself. That's what we're taught in school. But the Earth isn't flat. That's just crazy. In fact, the Earth is a sphere that bulges out at the equator. Hey, the real shape is called a geoid. Ooh, fancy. This sphere is also flat on the North and South Poles. That's because of the Earth's spin and gravity, that kind of stuff. So next time your parents tell you that two and two are four and that the Earth is round, you'll have a great comeback up your sleeve. The Earth weighs less than Saturn. Is that true or false? Saturn is the second largest planet in our solar system. Yeah, but we're talking about weight, pounds, kgs. It's actually the lightest planet in the system. Saturn's mostly made out of gas. So get ready to hear the craziest thing ever. You ready? Saturn could float on water. I mean, if you found a large enough swimming pool. So yeah, the Earth does weigh a lot more than Saturn. I mean, just imagine carrying around all those billions of people. We always see the same side of the moon, no matter where we stand on Earth. Is that true or false? Well, this one's too easy. I'll just leave it for you guys. Tell me in the comments.